But when you start understanding the ideal of the kingdom of God and how everything develops itself, you'll find out that, you know, a nine is supposed to get to ten. You know what I'm saying? But that's another message. But I uh, did a lot of research in that. But the topic of the message, oh, I got, I think I got to do two videos because... This is very that is very important to for people to understand what time we're living in. And see, y'all don't respect the evil that y'all are coming against. I see people are so, uh, I guess, comfortable in this uh, system that's operated in total error to me, totally error uh, system. Is y'all don't understand. What's happened? I mean, what are y'all being prepped for? What what y'all are being set up for is is beyond your imagination, pretty much right now. But y'all caught up in y'all everyday life and y'all everyday routine. You know what I'm saying? Doing what you do, and that's what the kingdom of darkness wants y'all caught up in y'all routine, so they can set the trap on y'all. And boy, I've seen some bit video. Uh, that is really uh, prepping to set something great and huge up. But I'll do a bit video on that later. But the topic of the message is talk about um, the reality of, you know, here's the thing. Uh, you know, I did, uh, I got, I felt in my heart, you know, my spirit, I felt in my spirit to, um, uh, type up the word of God, the desire of the word of God Sunday, you know, uh, on my Facebook, you know what I'm saying? The word of God, the word of God, the word of God. And, you know, and the thing is, the topic of this message is the reality of God's word isn't just a word. God's word isn't just a word. Um, See, look, y'all, the thing is, I, you know, I've been teaching, you know, and uh, about the idea of the climate of or what's going on concerning the so-called uh, church system that is operating so much error. I mean, operating so much error to now watch this. If something's operating error, that means something is not working. Something is not functioning correctly. You know what I'm saying? Something is not facilitating itself that needs to be facilitated. Like I was talking to my friend, uh, I was, you know, at KFC, uh, and that about that darkness, all this darkness that's going on in this world is the evidence of the lack of light, the lack of God's divine light is not there. I mean, it's lack of it that is it's lack, you know what I'm saying? It's not as much as it needs to be to counteract the darkness that is going on in this world. It's, you know, it's the lack of light. It's the problem of what's going on in this world. And look, we don't have a darkness problem. We have a light problem. The problem is the light is not working. Once the light get working, we know when we cut on the light switch, darkness has to flee. But the idea of the present, the idea of darkness that is going on in this world and how much to what calamity that is happening each and everywhere we go is the, is the result of the lack of light that is not shining because of an incorrect church system that is operating. Uh, it's, the testament, it's the testament of how bad and dismal this world is getting. Um, now, the reason why I'm telling you this is is because that's the if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? That the word now, uh, the the word of God is powerful. The word of God, like you know, the scriptures, the word of God will always be powerful to me, and it will always be great, and always be the greatest thing that ever existed. Like you know, it says by faith, you know, uh, it says in uh, Hebrews uh, eleven and I believe three that the the word of God. You know, by faith that we understand that the the that worlds it says worlds, but I put universe there. Uh, universe was uh, created by the word of God. 
The word of God is powerful. The word of God is power, has a power beyond in, beyond the universe. I mean, beyond anything that we can establish. That is a universal standard. And of course, you know how huge the universe is that you can't put no measurement on it. But the thing is, the word of God is powerful. But guess what? We have the power as human beings. Like I tell people, the most powerfulest uh, thing that we ever have as human beings in this earth that we need to understand so much concerning what's going on in this world and what's not going on concerning uh, God's, you know, uh, God, God, things going happening. It's because of our belief system. Our belief system is powerful. It's so powerful. It can make you, watch this, it's so powerful. It can make you not believe God. <laughs> Ask the atheist. <laughs> That's how powerful that, and, and God is could be on a dollar bill. He could be on everything, you know, that is powerful. God could be, you know, they could sing God bless America. And America, one of the most prosperous countries in the world. You know what I'm saying? God could be on a, you know, like I said, dollar bill. God could be on about, you know, concerning this country and how great it is. God, the greatness of God can be manifested so greatly that you, a uh, atheist, has the power to believe that he, he or she said he doesn't exist. That's how powerful our belief system can make a great God that his greatness just testifies all throughout human history. Uh, this, say he doesn't exist. That's, that's a powerful belief system. But the thing is, what I'm kind of going with this uh, message here, that God's word is not just the word. That because of a system, a, 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 church, a false church system to me, is not giving you the instructions properly and not doing the instructions properly, that now God's word becomes neutralized. As it says in um, Matthew 23 and I believe 13, that Jesus taught to the scribes and Pharisees that y'all have shut up the kingdom of God. Because of y'all acts of what y'all are doing concerning the things that he lists when you keep on reading Matthew 23, that y'all have shut up the kingdom of God because you are pretty much doing the as God thing. You know what I'm saying? As it says in the first uh, verse in that chapter, it talks about they're, they're trying to be, you know, they sit in the Moses seat. They're trying to be seen as God's among the people and want people to exalt them as these great, you know, rabbis or whatever. And that they all that, you know, the all that, you know, pride of life that Satan, you know, gives everybody on, unfortunately. And the thing is, this system, it, when you do that, it will shut up the power of the kingdom of God. Now, the thing is, the power of the kingdom of God is within his word. Now, your word is not effective. Now, and Jesus said in Matthew 15, that talks about the tradition of, of God, the making the commandments of word of God, none effect through your own traditions that I've been complaining for a long time. How come the church operate in so much tradition? And with, with you operate in so much tradition, you is Jesus said, you will not be effective, affecting his word. And everybody's trying to preach traditionally, do things traditionally, um, and in the scripture, and things are not being as effective as they need to be concerning the climate that is going on in this world. Uh, things are getting worse, um, and it says the commandment of the word of God is none effect. And the thing is, now you see this Christianity uh, that we are operating in, that you know that is. That, that are unfortunately lukewarm Christians develop because something is not operating to an extent of affecting people. You know what I'm saying? That people, lukewarm performances, that people will receive the word of God, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, just that other thing that other Christians said or this preacher preached or whatever. People will receive it that way because the lack of the of the power of 
the word of God is not being implemented properly because of a world, a, a church system is not operating according to what the scripture says. And the thing is, now that facilitate the performance of Christians. And the Christians, we, we, they be like, you know, unfortunately saying, oh, I love you and I love you. Or, oh, I have faith in God. But do not perform the things of God as what it does say in Matthew 15. That, you know, it talks about you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from it. It's the ideal of, you know, it's the, the word of God is um, we're supposed to perform it. You know what I'm saying? It requires a performance. The word of God requires a performance. And the thing is, we don't understand. I mean, people are not understanding that. To what extent that it requires a performance is what I see around around where I'm at, you know, and what's going on. And I, so be around Christians, you know. It says, I see the lack of people don't understand a performance needs to be done concerning the things of God. It's just that, you know, and how people, I mean, you see the complacentness. You see you know, your church members that go to your church and you see... You know, uh, you see the lack of performance of going out there to truly be a light of Christ. And, of course, you know, becoming the body of Christ but that's based upon unity that, you know, churches, are, to me, are not really conveying the idea of the body of Christ. You know, the body and the building are two different things, way two different things. The body, the building is a place of assembly. But a body is what is really the church concerning everybody that is seeking after Jesus Christ is the ideal of body. And they're not trying to connect with people, other Christians. They only hang out with Christians that go to their church, but they don't hang out with Christians that goes to, I mean, goes to other building. They hang out with another building and this thing. But you're you because you think it's just something you you supposed to do concerning your building, but no, it's more than that. You're supposed to be connected with more people concerning the body of Christ. And it's the performance of the lack of unity, the lack of unity among Christians are going to perceive a just performance. Because look, we need people around us to help us, encourage us, to help uplift us, to live in this crazy world we live in, this operating in darkness. I mean, look at, I mean, we're to the place that they, same-sex marriage is going on, and now transgender is becoming an ideal, you know, concept to make, you know, people believe, kids, men and women, boys and girls, kids to believe that they're the opposite side. I mean, these darkness is just being, being forceful with their agenda, and it's like the church system or just listening to God's word like it's just another word. I'm not going to perform that light that much. But the darkness is performing all this nonsense like crazy. And look, look, Paul, Peter, it says in Matthew 5, 16, so let our light shine. We got to let our light shine. The word of God is light, and it's light that will shine forth in the midst of darkness to help people understand the reality of the truth of God's divine word. That it is true, and we need to be about performing the truth and protesting the truth to churches concerning that we need to get more united concerning the faith and concerning the spirit amongst one another. Is what should be the cry of every spirit of each and every Christian's heart of unity. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, to truly be the ideal representation of the bride of Christ that we will become in Ephesians 4. Uh, it talks about being joined together, joined together. And you know what I'm saying? I believe that's the 17, I think. I don't know, 16 or 17. That we will fifthly join it together in love. That is supposed to be the agenda of every Christian that if they truly want to be about God's divine plan will be about God's divine plan and be about not listening to words that like it's just another word it's more than a word that I need to start learning to perform and I need to start having Christians around me to encourage me to perform these things to you know uh, when I fall down they'll pick me back up when I make a mistake they'll encourage me to do better and that's what the, it's all about 
not looking at God's word, just the word. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory. Here in Jesus' name, amen.